So yeah, you guys log in, right? And then let's go to the world tab here, click. Then you will see this page. Okay, then uh, please add your new work here. Okay, then you will see this page. And this window is for your structure. So you could either like throw your structure here, something like this. Oops, what's that? Oh yeah. Or you could just up upload your structure. Okay, and then uh, I guess anyone then click the simulation tab here. And go to the DFT session quantum espresso. Click and general. Yeah, and you will see connecting modules. Yeah, connecting modules means that you have to connect your structure to the uh, this input file. So you you yeah. Click the your structure builder here. Then yeah, your input uh will have the structure parameters for your structure here. Uh, since we are looking at the session led ionized, you will see the lattice parameters here. A atomic positions in Ohmstrom unit. So cesium, lead, iodine, iodine one, iodine two, iodine three. Yeah, that's scripting option. Uh, we will choose general here, general. Okay, then you will see uh, these uh, input uh, options here. Okay, I guess you guys on the same page. Then we're gonna change the calculation type from SCF to to VC relax. The VC means variable cell relax. So uh, DFT code will uh, optimize the cell as well as uh, all atoms. So relax means that um, DFT will relax the only atoms, not lattice parameters. And there are the other options like MD, molecular dynamics, and variable cell molecular dynamics. And SCF is just optimized electron density, not structure. So please choose BC relax here. Okay. And then please change K point grid here. Six. Oops, not six, six, six. Six, six, and one, one, one. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's it. And, and yeah, 48 cores. Uh, I think it's, uh, uh, yeah, it's proper choice yeah you, you 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 have to you know indicate the job name something like session that iodine your maybe name or some past something like this or op optim optimization then i will do a uh, session that iodine by name on the bar opt yeah, you, you, you can you can choose, you know, or you, you can uh change this job name uh what you want. Uh, like then also uh before summing your job, you'd better uh it'll be good to save your job like uh webinar webinar uh, tutorial something like this and say okay. Yeah, and that's it. Uh, okay, let's 
start, click the start job now. Okay, then uh, yeah, I guess the our calculation is running now. So you can check the status here. Click the this uh, triangular shape, and you will see your job ID and job name. The job name is a uh, the uh, name on here. It's the same, right? And type is QE. QE means Quantum Espresso. Okay, I think our calculation is finished. Oh, okay. Yeah, finished, right? Uh, you, I think you guys can see zero here and your credit uh, reduced to, to 19 or something. Then uh, let's update uh, status. So click the update status. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, once you click the update and click the module here, module, just above the uh, visualizer. So click the module here. Yeah, you see the import structure from the other modules. And click your quantum espresso here. Yeah. 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 If you click the initial, you will see your initial structure. If you click the final and you will see your final optimized structure, you click the final and you will see your structure here. Yeah. Why well, is very dark? <laughs> so you can change it to download. default, Dr. Lee, please. You right click, right -click. and then di display. Display, okay. Display and uh, push the just default button. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, bottom of that, yeah, that's great. Oh, my bad, my bad, sorry guys. Uh, uh, it's much better, okay. Uh, yeah, and you, you can download this structure uh, here too, and like, well, bus or C. These two are most widely used uh, uh, structure uh, files. So let's say C. And yeah, you can download that, something like this. So, ah, oh, it's super slow. Like optimize. Yeah, then I just save the uh, optimized structure uh, to my uh, desktop. And you can double check the uh, double check your structure using different software. I, I'm I'm using this best uh, program, which is free and and really nice program. So you can double check your structure using different software like Besta. I think a Besta is a competitor to Bochelet, maybe I don't know. <laughs> and, uh, Click and you will see your structure or something like this. I think it looks good. Okay. And you can check the, uh, the lattice parameters. Lattice parameter is something like this. And atomic coordination state. So that's for uh, structure uh, relaxation. Yeah. Okay. And that's. Let's move on to the uh, band structure calculation. Okay, and go go to the simulation, quantum espresso general, and connect to your previous quantum espresso job. Then you will get all informations from the previous uh, job, including optimal structure too. Click this one. Then you will see this page. The scripting option should be template. And then select the band structure in data to get. 
And then uh, we need to edit two uh, tabs. Uh, first, first one is a band structure tab here. And click the plus. And the second one is a dos. And click the dos. And we will have three uh, things here. Then uh, we have to choose a K point path here. So our system is Q. So click Q. Uh, number of K points is 10. Okay. So uh, initially, this platform uh, provides the default K point path, but uh, we will remove this one. Yeah. Remove and click well yeah for band structures we don't need a, a six by six by six k point grid because the for band structure calculations we will look at the eigenvalue along the k point pathway so we don't need a k point grid k point grids only need to get the optimized structure and uh optimize the uh, electron density so you know choose uh you, you may remember that m r gamma point so click uh, m r and gamma and that's it it's really really convenient and then let's change the, uh, this number 10 to one because uh, we don't need a 10 points at the last step. We just need a one point at the gamma point. So uh, every time you have to change, like, well, you you, you don't need to change the, this number, but uh, for the uh, calculation efficiency, uh, we don't need to calculate the uh, 10 points at the last step, just need the one point. And this, that, that's it. This this is just uh, uh, input for band structure. Then, well, you will also you you could check the, your input file for band structure and those, but you don't need to. And okay, and let's go to the those tab and. Please reduce the number of cores because we don't need a, uh, 48 cores for uh, those, those calculations. So just 18 maybe, 18 would be relevant. Okay, and job name like uh, Ben, my name, I don't know, maybe for the consistency system name and calculation mode and before submit your job please save your job too and once you save your job you will revisit your job so please save your job so i'm ready so click the start job Okay, and uh, you can check the status here, your ID, job name, type, number of course, uh, time, charge. Oh, oh, I think the calculation is finished. Right? So we need to click the update status here. Okay. Yeah, then we will see uh, successfully finished here and with the green color. Here, 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 too. Uh, let's look at the result first. So, uh, uh, click the analyzer here. Yeah. And quantum espresso. And go to the band structure. Yeah, you will also see uh, this connecting modules or something. 
this is for connecting uh, you know uh, new uh, module to the previous module. Okay. So click the your band structure calculation here. This one. Yeah. Okay, then click the band. Then you will see a uh, band structure like this. Looks good, huh? So if you uh, move your uh, cursor on the band, you will see uh, eigenvalue and k point. This is the conduction band minimum, and this is balance band maximum. So we we can see the uh, band gap here. Band gap is like one point four. That's good. Okay, so this is the conventional band structure, and now uh, we're gonna project the uh, orbitals into the, this band structure. So there is a uh, some plug like, and uh, click this plug. Yeah. Oh, also you will see this. Uh, how can I say? Uh, yeah, thing. <laughs> the thing and collect the uh, previous calculation and we're gonna project the uh, orbital to a band structure so please click the project fit here yeah please click uh project it then you can see uh oh my series response sorry uh Okay, then you can choose the uh, atoms what you want to see, like something like this. Or you can choose all atoms by dragging your mouse. Then you will see all atoms, right? And well, let's let's say if you want to see the uh, lead P orbital, uh, you can choose the mainly lead has a six six P. So just click the six P here and add click add and here uh, you will see the P orbital in the band so let's say if you look at the iodine uh p orbital click add and it's very uh boy because of the magnitude is uh probably much smaller than this lead ion anyway uh you can also remove the orbital here And if you want to see the S orbital of the lab, and I can see. Oh, to see the this orbital uh, panel, uh, you have to choose uh, choose the uh, atoms first. Something like this. Uh, something like this, and you will see the panel. Okay. Uh, that's it, and uh, you you could download this image. But uh, I hope the uh, we could download the raw data in the future. Probably, uh, uh, mature scale people already know that.